Safety is an important concern when working with the electrical systems of hybrid vehicles, particularly when removing and installing hybrid vehicle batteries. Because of the high voltage that the batteries generate, removing and installing hybrid batteries is an inherently dangerous activity and can lead to serious or even fatal injuries. Suitable training is essential before removing, installing, or servicing this product, which should only be attempted by a qualified technician. Please attentively watch this video and read the technical specification sheets, warnings, instructions, and safety measures that accompany the product. Using the proper techniques and safety measures for removing, installing, or servicing hybrid vehicles' batteries are your sole responsibility. You personally assume all risks and responsibilities for any damage, injury, or death that result from your misuse of our products or from your failure to use the proper safety equipment or take the proper safety measures. If you are not a qualified technician, do not attempt to remove, install, or service hybrid vehicle batteries. To complete this installation, you will need the following tools. Deep sockets in 8mm, 10mm, 12mm, and 14mm. A trim removal tool. A ratchet or impact wrench with a 6-inch extension. A Cat3 1000 volt rated voltmeter and leads. And high voltage gloves with leather protectors that are class 0 1000 volt rated. And remember, when working with high-voltage hybrid vehicle systems, always wear insulating gloves and tell instructed to remove them. To begin the installation, power the vehicle off, making sure the speedometer display goes dark. Slide both front seats to their forwardmost positions. Open both rear doors and the rear hatch. Remove the rear cargo mat, cover, and tray as well as the side covers that hide the 12 volt battery and storage pocket. Pull up on the plastic cover that hides the rear hatch hinge and remove it from the vehicle. Using a 10 mm socket and extension, remove three bolts securing each side panel. Next, put on your high voltage gloves. Remove the orange high voltage battery safety disconnect located to the left front of the rear storage area. The safety disconnect is removed by sliding the handle vertically and then pulling out and downward on the handle. Your high voltage gloves can now be removed until needed later in the installation. Using a 10 mm socket, remove the two bolts holding cargo ties to the carpeted tray above the high voltage battery. Disengage the seat belt shoulder harnesses from the rear seat back guides on top of the seat backs. Fold down both rear seat backs. Using a trim tool, locate and remove two push-in clips that secure the right and left sides of carpeting to the battery pack. Pull up on the carpet covering the hinge area of the seats and slide the battery cover toward the rear of the vehicle to disengage the clips that hold the cover to the battery top. Using a 14 mm socket, remove the bolts that secure the seat backs to the hinges. Flip both seat backs forward into the floor in front of the seat bottom. Using a 12 mm socket and extension, remove the bolt from each seat side panel located at the bottom edge of the panels behind the seat bottom. After removing the bolts, slide the panel straight up to disengage the retainer and remove it from the vehicle. Using a trim tool, disengage the clips on both side panels behind the carpeted area near the hatch opening. Pull the right side panel towards the center of the vehicle and remove. Pull the left side panel towards the center of the vehicle while disconnecting the wiring to the rear cargo lamp and remove. Using a 10 mm socket and trim tool, remove the cooling ductwork from the right side of the battery pack. Using a 12 mm socket, remove the bolts securing the bracing to the battery and the side panels as well as the five bolts securing the battery to the floor of the vehicle. Remove the battery vent hose from the right side of the battery pack. 
Put on your high voltage gloves. Using a 10 mm socket, remove the three bolts and two nuts securing the electronics cover to the left side of the battery pack. Carefully remove the cover by pulling straight up, being careful not to distort the cover. Remove the cable shield wire connector and retain for use with the new battery. Using a CAT3 rated voltmeter, check for voltage across the two terminals to which the orange cables are connected. If the voltage at this point is below 30 volts, it is safe to remove your gloves until reinstalling the new battery. Using an 8mm socket, remove and retain two nuts securing the cables to the battery. Lift the cables from the battery pack and hook behind to the left seat hinge to prevent damage while removing the battery. Remove the small wiring connectors from the left rear of the battery pack and disengage the clip securing the harness to the lower corner of the battery case. Reinstall the electronics cover on the old battery pack. Two people are required to safely lift the battery pack from the vehicle. Wearing mechanics gloves due to sharp edges on the battery pack, lift up and towards the rear of the vehicle and remove the battery through the rear hatch opening of the vehicle. Reverse this process to reinstall, paying close attention to the following. When reinstalling the high voltage safety disconnect at the end of the installation procedure, make sure you push the device in while flipping the handle up. Once the handle is all the way up, push straight down on the handle, which should travel about one half of an inch downward to engage a safety switch and lock the handle in place. Once the installation is complete, please use the following procedures when packing the original battery core for return shipment and credit. The battery core must be intact and returned in the shipping container provided with the replacement battery. The core must be the same part type and application as the purchased replacement unit. Do not write on the shipping container. And finally, contact the place of purchase for core credit and shipping instructions. For technical support, visit www.dormanproducts.com or call 866-933-2911. This video is for general information purposes only. Dorman Products Incorporated makes no representations or warranties, oral or written, express or implied, regarding the information contained in this video. You are responsible for consulting and complying with all state and federal laws. Please consult with an ASE certified automotive professional before any automotive repairs. The entire risk as to the results and the performance of the information contained in this video is assumed by the viewer, and in no event shall Dorman Products Incorporated or its customers be liable for any consequential, incidental, special, or direct damages suffered in the course of using the information in this video.